this is the Quanzo gyroscope stabilizer. Uh, to set this up, you again use it servo 2 base, and that is attached by these brackets to this rotating base plate so that you can easily rotate it. And then the gyroscope uh, screws down onto the main motor again. And on this, you have to use the high gear ratio motors because the low gear ratio. Uh, servos don't have the torque necessary to rotate this load. It's kind of heavy. Um, so here's the gyroscope. And right now the controller's turned off. So I can rotate this. And as you can see, the gyroscope rotates for the most part with it. Um, because it's not being controlled. You can also see that it tilts side to side as it rotates. That's because of um, the gyroscopic stability that it gets from spinning at a rather high rate of... Um, so, that is the gyroscope. Over here is the controller for it in Simulink. That's the overall block diagram. And this down here is the blue block up there. That is the actual interface between the motor, and the servo motor, and the controller. So, that is the controller. Now let's show it in action. So if I start this, so now it's running. You can see nothing's happening. Come back over here. Now, as I rotate this, you'll notice that the gyro does not move with it. It stays in the same orientation that it was to begin with. You can see that better from the top. I can rotate the base. And the gyroscope moves a little bit because of drift and saturation. Since this motor is not very powerful, it has a hard time keeping up with fast rotations. But for the most part, it stays put. So the controller is doing its job. Now coming back to here, you can see what the graphs do. They're showing the angular rates of speed, the deflection, and the control voltages by the, uh, given by the controller. And that is the gyro.